willkommen zurück bei Firewatch. Wir suchen immer noch die jungen Damen, die erstmal unseren Lookout verwüstet haben, die dann auch noch die Telefonkabel durchgeschnitten haben. Aber also wir haben es hier nicht mit netten Personen zu tun. Und eine von den beiden hat auf jeden Fall keine Unterhose mehr an. Da haben sie ja die Nachricht drauf gelassen. Go to hell. Teenager. Die Jugend von heute. Kein Respekt mehr. Excuse me, Flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Okay. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Vielleicht haben sie sogar das Feuer hier gelegt, wer weiß. Wenn wir jetzt zurückgehen, dann kommen wir wahrscheinlich wieder auf den Zaun zu. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and... Yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. Trust me, I know how it is. So... Did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but... <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't... I mean that, the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and I like companionship as much as the next person. No, I didn't break any hearts when I left. So, you guys broke up? Something like that. And you're just bursting at the seams to talk about it. You really are very perceptive. I know. It's one of my many gifts, along with accents and impeccable night vision. Incredible. Why, thank you very much, Governor. Ich wüsste gar nicht, warum wir der alles erzählen sollten. Zumindest noch nicht zum jetzigen Zeitpunkt. Ich denke, dass du die Forest Service zu der großen Rekrutierung gehörst, wenn es um die Frage geht, wie du hier 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 hierher Sorry, ich weiß wirklich nicht, was du mit der Rekrutierung meinst. Oh, nach dem letzten Sommer. Du weißt, Budgets gingen durch die Ruhe, ein Blick und ein Blick für das erste Mal in 20 Jahren. Last summer? Oh, come on. You're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder. I'm from Boulder. Same diff. So are you going to let me know what happened that caused this budget increase or what? <laughs> wow. I can't believe you don't know. I was a little preoccupied last summer. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? No. Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, well, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Tja. Ich habe ehrlich gesagt keine Ahnung, wo hingehen muss, um die Gehören zu finden. Kann der richtige Weg sein, kann aber total der falsche Weg sein. Wir ja mal wieder auf die Karte gucken. Find the Teens. Jetzt sind wir gerade, das war der Canyon, der Thunder Canyon. Okay, so viel ist klar. Ja. So. Da vorne den Weg bin ich nicht gegangen, oder? Der da abknickt. Tja, wird sich schon finden. Oder auch nicht. Auf 
Timer setzt Musik ein. Das bedeutet nichts Gutes. Vermutlich finden wir jetzt gleich die zerstümmelten Leichen der beiden Mädchen. Und wir sind der Hauptverdächtige, weil wir unsere Wohnung verwüstet haben, also unseren Lookout, und die Telefonkabel durchgeschnitten haben. Wir haben auf jeden Fall ein Motiv. Und kein Alibi. Und da wir deren Unterwäsche angepackt haben, sind auch noch unsere DNA-Spuren auf der Unterwäsche. Wir sind ganz schön am Arsch. Gehen wir nochmal Richtung See. Vielleicht baden sie ja wieder. Oh, waren wir schon an dem Ding hier dran? There's a snack in here. Probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. Na ja, ist doch egal. Halt, Cards aktualisieren. Geht das? Nein. Also waren wir hier vermutlich schon. Was ist das denn? I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire. You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Wo ist er denn jetzt? Der Smoke da. Also in die Richtung weitergehen. Hoffentlich kein Feuer. Wir können ja jemanden anrufen. Ja, das sieht mir aber eher wie ein Kämpffeuer aus. Wenn du dich nicht fühlst, bist du ein Mitglied von einem Club von Lookouts, die nach einem Thoroughfair nach einem Break-up kommen. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. It wasn't anyone's fault. So you just grew apart? We just couldn't be together anymore. How does that make you feel? We meet again, Widowmaker. You haven't beat me yet. You ready to give it another shot? Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. Na bitte. Diesmal sieht's doch besser aus. Hm. Beim letzten Mal sind wir ganz schön tief gefallen, also. Gut ab, dass wir das äh, unbeschadet überstanden haben. Hook Rope, bringt uns das was? Ich gucke erstmal hier um die Ecke rum. Falls wir hier überhaupt runterkommen. Sieht aber nicht so aus, als ob das der richtige Weg wäre. Ach herrje, wo sind wir denn? Da unten. Ja, wir müssen uns bestimmt da ranhucken. Was sonst hätte das für einen Sinn? Gott sei Dank haben wir ungefähr eine Milliarde äh, Seile dabei. Thanks to Brian. Good win. So hieß er doch, oder? So. Wo ist der Rauch? Südwest müsste also dahin sein. Ist der jetzt weg, der Rauch? Darf doch nicht wahr sein. Super, ich sehe nichts mehr. Ich glaube, hier waren wir noch nicht dran an dem. Map 
Information, genau, wichtig. Wir haben eine Missing Person. Der Name ist nicht zu entziffern. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to So was kann man dann nochmal groß machen, okay. Job and realize it was a bad idea. Um. PTSD. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. This is the sort of biome-based small talk that will be invaluable to you as a single man. Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Aha. Na gut. Dennoch sehe ich jetzt den Smoke nicht mehr. Der war Richtung Südwesten. Das ist Richtung Südwesten in etwa. Der Smoke ist weg. Die schon wieder verpasst, die Gören. Oh. Jetzt renne ich schon seit zwei Episoden hier rum und suche diese Weiber. Das ist nicht so spannend. Es ist ein wirklich schöner Wasserfall hier. Auch wenn diese Mädels lieben ein Skinny-Dipping, ich bin da nahe. Es gibt ein bisschen Kloth hier. Es sieht aus, als ob es von etwas gebrochen wurde. Strange. Ich werde weiter schauen. Hier. Dann gut ich nur einen alternativen Weg. Campfire Smoke. Ah, vielleicht doch der richtige Weg. Aha. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? It seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like... I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. On the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> Yoo beer! These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. It's uh, merkwürdig, oder? Let's not Feuer ausmachen. Hello. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. Whoa. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Was schreiben die hier? Dear Psycho, I hope you are fucking happy. We are leaving. We are going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped on us in the lake. Mm -hmm. And then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panthers is gross out. You are probably a mental fucking ex murder and you are go so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Okay, Mädels, 
das ähm, war ich in der Tat nicht. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No, fucking no! Henry, did you attack or do anything that could be perceived as an attack to these campers? They are. No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Tja, quiet summer. Das kann ja noch was werden. Oh, day free. Oh, ist auch eine Art und Möglichkeit, Feierabend zu machen. Am dritten Tag. Äh, am zweiten Tag. Und wie es am dritten Tag weitergeht, sehen wir dann in der nächsten Episode. Danke fürs Zusehen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Bye, bye.